I actually like the act of making and like creating something new with mm -hmm. the existing technology. I'm about to meet with Ezgi, who's an alumni from the Parsons School of Design. She has an MFA in design and technology, and she's working on a number of projects in the field of wearable technology. I'm really interested in multi-sensory perception. When I first came here, I thought I wanted to do motion graphics and animation, like 2D, 3D animation. Uh -huh. And then I found out about physical computing and wearable technology, which was like completely new to me. And it was like, at first it was intimidating, but then I started learning about it and it's actually really fun. And we first have a boot camp where we learn about code and web and design basics. And then you start exploring. Some people were more interested in installations or creating apps, like anything that you can think of that involves technology and design, you can find in our program. In this world right now, we're only focused on the visual. We ignore most of our other sensory inputs that we like constantly get, which are actually very important in terms of perceiving the world as a whole. I'm interested in like having sound or having smell have an effect on people that the visuals have. And I'm trying to integrate all of these senses into wearable technology. Right now I'm in a testing phase, which is very important in my process. I like to experiment with whatever is available and try to create something that is not available. And I didn't think that would be possible before coming to this program. This is actually my thesis project that is inspired by shaman stories. This is a dance costume that is interactive with the dancer's movements. So you're taking um, a shamanic, ritualistic dress and turning into a piece of wearable technology? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And I leave all the choreography to the dancer. I just ask them to improvise so that I can test what sounds it will create based on different dance styles. What sounds it'll create? Yeah. What, how it'll create sound? So it's through the two proximity sensors mm -hmm. and then it creates sounds based on the movements. So when I spin this, it's actually making that sound? Yeah. Physical computing is something that allows you to be very creative. And I figured I didn't even know that this existed before I came to Parsons. 